Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Huwallahu la ilaha illa hu Alimul ghaibi wasyahada Huwarrahmanur rahim Al-Malikul Qudusus Salamul Mu'minul Muhayminul Azizul Jabbarul Mutakabbir Subhanallahi Amma Yushrikun Huwa Allahul Khalikul Bari'ul سوّر له الأسماء الحسنى يسبح له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم صدق الله العظيم بسم الله I begin in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the merciful. Surah Naziyat, ayat number 5. Then they administer the command of Allah Azza wa Jal. In the tafsir, the commentary, from these emerge a few issues. Number one, the administrators of the world are superior to mere worships or worshippers because the trusted angels engage themselves in divine worship as well as manage the affairs of the world entrusted to them but in status they are greater because Allah Almighty has taken an oath on them. Number two, the power of Allah Almighty is such that he can have any big or small task done by his order without requiring any meditation but his law is that every task should be performed through a medium this is because every task of the world is assigned to the angels managing the affairs the saints vested with powers of establishment are taking care of the management of these affairs of the world like these angels. Number three, some names are common between Allah and the creation, like Ali, Sami, Basir. From these is Mudabbir, manager, i.e., Allah Almighty is Mudabbir. So are the angels who are Mudabbir ul Amr, managers of affairs. Those it is permissible to say that the prophets are governors and masters. Ayat number six. <laughs> On the day the blast of the trumpet will convulse creation. Ayat seven. That followed by a similar ones blast I number eight how hearts will tremble on that day in the commentary it is mentioned 
on the day of judgment the hearts of the infidels will be beating so fast out of fear the hearts of the believers would be at ease sallu ala al habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alhamdulillah alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wa salatu wa salam ala sayyid al mursalin amma ba'd fa'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim as salatu wa salam alayka ya rasulullah wa ala alika wa ashabika ya habiballah as salatu wa salam alayka ya nabiyallah wa ala alika wa ashabika ya nurullah excellence of reciting durood and salam upon the last prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam when a muslim recites 1000 times durood upon the beloved he will not die until he sees his place in paradise try to make it a habit of reciting the shortest durood e pak which is sallallahu ala muhammad which can be achieved from madni pansura the treasures of blessing from maktabatul madina or the website inshallah sallu ala al habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam today i've chosen a topic from fazan al sunnat 300 men metaphors into swine now you can see a lot of muslims uh, do not take any products that has swine in there for example if there was nasal drops or if there was a vaccine that contained pork or if there was any product like yogurt that had gelatin and etc this is the reason we're going to learn the parable of prophet jesus uh, these people who went against prophet jesus and hopefully this is, will give true knowledge of those people who deny the fact why these people do not take these uh, nasal drops is because of these teachings of islam and this is the reason behind it all and it's the command of allah azza wa jal so let's listen the companions of prophet sayyidina isa ala nabina was salatu was salam one said to him would your creator azza wa jal bless us with heavenly foods by virtue of dua your supplication sayyidina isa ala nabina was salatu was salam replied do not ask for such miracles and fear allah azza wa jal abstain from this if you are a believer they responded your honor we have not made this request because of any doubt in your prophethood or in the absolute power of allah azza wa jal rather they are for the purpose of these three things or four things number one the first is by eating the heavenly foods we would seek its blessings enlighten our hearts and get closer to the mercy of allah azza wa jal second the second is we should have ainul yaqeen of glad tidings you have given to us that our prayers are answered by our creator azza wa jal further our hearts would have comfort and we would be satisfied to have perfect faith number 3 the third is we would have ainul yaqeen of your truthfulness number 4 the fourth is we would see this heavenly miracle bear witness for others and this parable of ours would be a means of completion of faith for for the people till the day of judgment and we would become witness of your prophethood forever sayyidina sulman sayyidina sulman farsi abdullah ibn abbas and most of the other 
existed, Rahmanullah Ta'ala Alayhi have stated, when the companions assured Prophet Isa Ala Nabina was salatu was salam that they had not made this request of heavenly food for mere pleasure, but rather they had some righteous intentions. Sayyidina Isa Ala Nabina was salatu was salam robed himself in a cloak made of jute and wept as he made dua, a supplication in the court of Allah Azza wa Jal. Allahumma Rabbana anzil alayna ma'idatan min as-sama As-sama'i takunu lana idhan li awlina Idhan li awlina wa akhirina wa ayatan minka Warzukna wa anta khayrul raziqeen Translation from Kanzal Iman O oh Allah, our Rabb Azza wa Jal, send down to us a tray of food from the heavens so that it may be an Eid for us, for the first and for the last of us, and a sign from you and provide us with sustenance and you are the best providers, best provider of sustenance. Hence, red, a red, Dining mat covered with clouds descended. All of the people saw as it was descending. It was then positioned amongst the people. Seeing this, Prophet Sayyidina Isa ala Nabina was salatu was salam wept a lot and made the following supplication. O oh my Rabb Azza wa Jal, make me of amongst the thankful. O oh my Rabb Azza wa Jal, let this blessing not be a torment for my companions. The companions smelt such a, a fragrance from it that they had never smelt before. Prophet Sayyidina Isa, ala nabina was salatu was salam, and his companions bowed down to perform sajdai shukr, meaning prostration of thanks in the court of Allah. Since the dining mat was covered with red cloth, Prophet Sayyidina Isa ala nabina was salatu was salam asked who will uncover it. All of his companions requested that he alayhi salam uncover it. Therefore, he made a fresh ablution, meaning wudu, offered salah and made a supplication for a long time and then removed the dining mat. There were the following things on the dining mat. Seven fishes, along with seven pieces of bread. The fish had neither scales nor bones inside it. Oil was dripping from them. Near the heads of the fish was vinegar, and by their tails was salt. Along the sides were vegetables lined up. It is stated in, in some narration that there were five pieces of bread. One piece of bread had olive oil on it. The second had honey. The third had ghee, i.e. a type of butter. The fourth had cheese. And the fifth had the roasted meat on it. Sha'moon, one of the companions asked, O Prophet of Allah, are these foods from the earth or heaven? He salam, replied, these foods are neither from the earth nor heaven. They are simply from nature. First, the ill, the poor, the starving, and those suffering from leukoderma, leprosy, and physical disability were called. He salam, said, Say Bismillah, meaning in the name of Allah, and eat. This is a blessing for you and a calamity for those who deny. Other people were also given the same instructions. Hence, 7,300 people ate the food on the first day, subhanallah. Then that dining mat ascended as people watched. 
It flew up and disappeared. All the ill were cured and the poor became wealthy. This dining mat descended for 40 days consecutively or alternative days and people ate from it. Prophet Isa ala nabina was salatu was salam then received a revelation with the commandment that the wealthy would no longer eat from it. Only the poor would do. When this was announced, the wealthy became displeased and said that all of this was nothing but magic. Astaghfirullah. The wealthy people who denied the divine commandments were 300 in number. When people, when they went to sleep in their homes with their families at night, they were fine and well. But when they woke up in the morning, rise and shine, they had been turned into swine. They had turned into swine. These swines would run around in the streets and eat filthy feces. When the people saw their state, they came out running to Prophet Isa and wept in tears. These swine also gathered around him crying. Prophet Isa would call them by their names and they would and they would move their heads in response, but could not speak. They lived in extremely humiliation condition for three days. On the fourth day, they all perished. There were no women or children amongst them. All the nations that were metaphors perished. Their lineage did not continue as this is the divine law. It is stated in the hadith of Tarimzi, that the beloved and blessed Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam has stated The dining mat with bread and meat was sent down from the skies It was commanded that there should neither be any breaching in it Nor any serving, saving of food for the next day But those people not only breached but also saved food for the next day so they were metaphorized into monkeys and swine. These, are, these people were ordered not to hide or save anything for the next day. But some did and were turned into swine. As a result, Sayyidina Abdullah bin Amr radiallahu ta'ala anhu has stated, has said on the day of judgment, there will be severe punishments for those non-Muslims of the dining mat incident which we've just heard the supporters of Pharaoh and the hypocrites. Dear Islam brothers and viewers of social media and listeners via radio, did you see the high rank of Prophet Isa ala nabina was salatu was salam that Allah sent to Madiya, dining mat, full of blessings by virtue of his supplication, dua, the boon one receives in the world often comes with bane, grateful are successful, whereas the ungrateful are unsuccessful. Those who transgress in despite of enjoying boons in abundance are humiliated, as stated in the foregoing Quranic account, that 300 transgressors were turned into swine that hope, hopelessly roamed around for three days and perished on the fourth day. We ask Allah's refuge from this and his wrath and his displeasure. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If I made any mistakes in my small dars, I ask Allah to forgive us. And hopefully, hopingly what we have learned today is to give us amal and action. Ameen. يا إلهي رحم فرما مصطفى كي واسطي يا رسول الله كرم كي جي هدى كي واسطي مشكل هل كرشه مشكل كشا كي واسطي كربلاء رد شهيد كربلاء كي واسطي 
سیدے سجاد کے صدقے میں ساجد رکھ مجھے علم حق دے با کرے علم ہدا کی واسطے صدق صادق قات صدق صادق الاسلام کر بے غدب راضی ہو قاضر او رضا کی واسطے بہر معروف و سری معروف دے بے ہد سری جل حق میں گل جلے دے با صفا کی واسطے بہر شبلی شیر حق دنیا کی کتوں سے بچا ایک کارک عبد واحد بے ریا کے واسطے پل فرح کا صدقہ کر غم کو فرح دے حسن سعید بل حسن او بو سعید ساد زا کی واسطے قادری کر قادری رکھ قادری او میں اٹھا قدر عبد القادر قدرت نما کے واسطے احسن اللہ لہو رزق سید رزق حسن بلدہ رزاق تاج اسفیاء کے واسطے نصر بی صالح کا صدقہ صالح و منصور رکھ دے حیات دین محی جافزا کے واسطے تور ارفا و علو و حمد و حسن و با دے علی موسیٰ حسن احمد با کی واسطے بہر ابراہیم مجھ پر نار غم غلزار کر بیک دے داتا بکار بادشاہ کے واسطے خوانائی دل کو زیاد روح و ایمان کو جمال شہزیہ مولا جمال الاولیاء کے واسطے دے محمد کے لیے روزی کر احمد کے لیے خوان فید اللہ سے حصہ گدا کے واسطے دیل دنیا کے مجھے برکات دے برکات سے عشق حق دے عشق عشق انتماء کے واسطے حب اہل بیت دے آل محمد کے لیے کر شہید عشق حمزہ پیشوا کے واسطے دل کو اچھا تل کو سکرا جان کو پر نور کر اچھے پیارے شمس دل بدر الولا کے واسطے دو جہاں میں خاد میں آل رسول اللہ کر حضرت آل رسول مقتدا کی واسطے کر اتا احمد رضائے احمد مرسل مجھے میرے مولا حضرت احمد رضا کے واسطے پرزیاں کر میرا چہرہ حشر میں اے کبریاں شہزیاں الدین پیر با صفا کے واسطے احینا فی الدین والدنیا سلام بالسلام قادری عبد السلام خوش ادا کی واسطے عشق احمد میں اتا کر چشم تر سوز جگر یا ہدا الیاس کو احمد رضا کی واسطے صدقہ الایا قد چیعین عز علم و عمل اف و عرفان آفیت اس پہ لوا کے واسطے O Allah Azzawajal, by the virtues of these holy saints, bless my Islamic brothers and sisters, bless the gathering. Ya Allah Azzawajal, accept this Madani Halqa in your court. We send this reward to the last Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, as well as all the Prophets. We send this reward to the Ahl-i-Bad, 
to, uh, to the Sahaba Ikram, the companions. Ya Allah, we send this reward to the believing Muslims that have passed away. Ya Allah, bless their graves. Bless our mother and father if they have passed away. Bless our bro uh, brothers and sisters if they have passed away. Ya Allah, we send this reward to Sayyidi Abdul Qadir Jilani and all the awliya, the friends of Allah Almighty, the pious saints. We send this reward to our sheikhs, our ustads, and all the believing Muslim ummah. Ya Allah, Azzawajal, guide us, protect us, protect our iman, give us the ability to worship you five times daily. Ya Allah, Azzawajal, give us the ability to guide the youngsters towards the masjid. Ya Allah, bless the Muslims around the globe, especially Kashmir, Palestine, Syria, Yemen, Burma, Iraq, Lebanon. Ya Allah, Azzawajal, remove the starvation, the infliction of torment. Ya Allah, remove the oppression. Ya Allah, protect them from the enemies of Islam. Ya Allah, Azzawajal, guide the non-Muslims towards Islam and give them the true understanding of Islam. Ya Allah, Azzawajal, give us the ability to act upon what has been heard today and also bless our children at home, our wives, our mothers, our brothers and sisters. Ya Allah, Azzawajal, give them true Iman, give them the nur of the Qur'an, and give them the love of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam by sending drood and salam. Ya Allah, give us the ability to refrain from haram. Ya Allah, give us the ability to refrain from haram and give us the ability to earn halal. To eat halal and to feed our families halal also. Ya Allah, Azzawajal, the dars we have listened to, Ya Allah, Azzawajal, give us the ability to refrain from such activities. Ya Allah, such as eating unlawful food taking unlawful medication ya allah azza give us the ability to refrain from such medication ya allah enlighten our hearts give us the vision of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and give us the preparation of the akhirah by doing good deeds ya allah so many islamic brothers and sisters have requested for dua there is an islamic sister which has donated some money towards sadaqa and towards the masjid ya allah azza wa bless her household bless her children Make her children pious. Ya Allah Azawajal, bless her husband. Ya Allah Azawajal, relieve her husband from drugs, alcohol. Guide him to the straight path, Ya Allah. And give him love towards his family. Ya Allah, another brother who is doing hifaz of Quran, uh, which was just passing by yesterday. And MashaAllah, he told me he was doing hifaz and he was requesting for dua. Ya Allah Azawajal, uh, grant him. Uh, a stronger memory and given the ability to memorize the whole and um, whole Quran and many other Islamic brothers who are seeking ulad offsprings ya Allah bless them with uh, ulad uh, many people are going through depression isolation ya Allah so relieve this relieve all the Muslims from this pandemic protect them from any diseases any illnesses and protect them from such cases Amin, Amin, Amin. إِنَّ اللَّهُ وَمَلَائِكَتَهُ يُسَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِيِّ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا صَلُّوا عَلَيْهِ وَسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد معدن الجود والكرم وعليه وبارك وسلم يا الله with the blessing of this Drood Park bless the fourth Shudagan recently our uncle Pasha has passed away our brother our uncle Khalid Bai who has passed away another brother uh, from Jibbet Street, a Bengali brother has passed away. Ya Allah, another brother in Turkey, Numan, uh, a name was given, his Aziz has passed away. Ya Allah, so we grant them a place in paradise, relieve them from the torment of the grave. Ya Allah, make the accountability easy and give them the entry into paradise in Jannat al Firdos with the neighborhood of the beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and give them the vision of you, Ya Allah, in paradise. And also give the household sabr jameel patience and the preparation of the akhirah also. And give the Muslims ibrat as we are departing from this world. Ya Allah, give us the ability to reflect death all the time in our life. And reflection and contemplating that we are going to go one day. Ya Allah, we are going to go one day. We are going to return to you, Ya Allah. Please wake us up, Ya Allah. And make us one and strong and give us the ability to worship you. سبحان ربك رب العزة يما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين بحق لا إله 
الله محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم